There was an old well in the woods behind your house, a relic from a time when the town was just a small settlement. The well had long since gone dry, and now it was little more than a forgotten landmark, overgrown with ivy and surrounded by weeds. As a child, you'd always been warned to stay away from it, not just because it was dangerous, but because of the stories. Everyone in town knew the stories about the well. It was said that, long ago, a young woman had fallen into it, never to be seen again. Some said it was an accident, others whispered that she had been pushed, but no one could agree on how or why she had disappeared. Her body was never recovered, and since then, people have claimed to hear strange noises coming from the well, whispers, soft crying, even faint laughter at night. You hadn't thought about the well in years, but one autumn afternoon, while walking through the woods, you stumbled across it again. The sight of it sent a shiver down your spine, though you didn't know why. It was just an old well, after all, a piece of history that had been left behind as the town grew. But as you stood there, staring at the overgrown stones, you heard it, a soft voice, barely a whisper, drifting up from the darkness below. Help me. You froze, your heart pounding in your chest. The voice was faint, almost fragile, as though it were coming from a great distance. For a moment, you thought that you must be imagining it, that your mind was playing tricks on you. But then you heard it again, a little louder this time. Please, help me. Against your better judgment, you stepped closer to the well, peering into its dark depths. The inside was black, the bottom lost to the shadows. You couldn't see anything, but the voice continued, soft and pleading. I've been down here so long. Please help me. Your heart raced. The voice sounded so real, so desperate, and you found yourself wondering if it could be true. Could someone be down there, trapped for all these years? But that didn't make sense. How could anyone survive down there for so long? You shook your head telling yourself it was impossible, just the wind playing tricks on your ears. You turned to leave, but then, something else caught your eye. A face. You spun back to the well, your breath catching in your throat. There, just barely visible in the shadows, was the pale outline of a face staring up at you from the darkness. The eyes were wide, hollow, and empty, and the mouth was twisted into a sorrowful smile. Please, don't leave me. You stumbled back, your heart hammering in your chest. The face didn't move, but the voice continued, growing softer now, more insistent. I'm so lonely. Please, help me. You ran. You didn't stop until you were back at your house, the door locked behind you, your body trembling with fear. You told yourself it wasn't real, that you'd imagined it all. But the memory of the face in the well lingered in your mind haunting you long after you'd left the woods. That night, you couldn't sleep. Every time you closed your eyes, you saw the face again, staring up at you from the darkness, its hollow eyes pleading for help. The voice echoed in your mind, soft and desperate, until you couldn't take it anymore. The next morning, you went back to the well. The woods were quiet, the air still. You stood at the edge of the well, staring down into the shadows, for a long moment, there was nothing. No voice, no face, just silence. And then faintly, you heard it again. Please, help me. You hesitated, your heart racing. This time, the voice sounded weaker, more fragile, as though it were fading away. You couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong, that if you didn't act now, it would be too late. Before you could stop yourself, you reached for the old rope that still hung from the side of the well. It was frayed and covered in moss, but it seemed strong enough to hold your weight. You lowered yourself into the well, the rope creaking under the strain as you descended into the darkness. The air grew colder as you went deeper, the light above fading until you were surrounded by nothing but shadows. The walls were damp and covered in slime, and the smell of earth and decay filled your nostrils. You tried not to think about the stories, about the woman who had disappeared so many years ago. You told yourself it was just an old well, that there was nothing to be afraid of, but then you reached the bottom. The ground was wet and slick beneath your feet, 
and the darkness was so thick you could barely see. You shone your flashlight around, searching for any sign of the voice, the face you'd seen before. But there was nothing, just cold, damp stone. And then, from behind you, came a soft whisper. Thank you for coming. You spun around, your flashlight flickering. There, standing just a few feet away, was the figure of a woman. Her skin was pale, almost translucent, and her eyes were hollow, dark pits. She smiled at you, her lips cracking as she spoke. I've been waiting for so long. You tried to back away, but your feet wouldn't move. The woman took a step closer, her smile widening as she reached out towards you with thin, bony fingers. Now you can take my place, 